We're learning more information about the impact of the controversial decision by St. Peter's Health Partners to close the Burdette Birth Center in Troy, Rensselaer County's only remaining maternity ward. News 10's Zion Dakota is live in Troy in front of the Burdette Birth Center with more details on what happened last night at that meeting. Good morning, Zion. Good morning to you both. You know, we've seen so many meetings from community activists and even the attorney general talking about the possible impact of the closure of the Burdette Birth Center. But last night there was a virtual meeting in which St. Peter's Health Partners themselves basically outlined why they're opting to close the birth center. The president and CEO of St. Peter's Health Partners, Dr. Stephen Hanks, says they understand the impact that the closure would have on Troy, but they now expect it to happen in the first half of 2024. The company giving a few reasons for the closure, including multi-million dollar financial losses, healthcare worker shortages, and declining birth rates. St. Peter's also addressing a major concern for advocates, a lack of transportation for some women in Troy. St. Peter's says help with transportation will be included in every birth plan for patients who need it. Listen to Dr. Stephen Hanks, the president and CEO, explaining more about the decision to close the birth center. I continue to invest in services that drain financial resources and which are impacted by declining demand and staff shortages. It hampers our ability to deliver the same level of community benefits that are so important and necessary for our region. Stephanie and Christina, advocates have protested the closure for months with a recent community survey finding that 98% of responders were against the Burdett Bird Center shutting down. St. Peter says they have no plans to hold any more public forums going forward. Reporting live in Troy, Zion Dakota News 10, ABC.